Hello and welcome back. So I want to really quickly talk about level prototyping. Um, so I'm going to hit tab, W, and more jet center. Now I just have a single point in 3D space. I'm going to hit E, Z, and 2. And that'll give us a height of 2 units the whole way around. Now I'm going to select both vertices, E to extrude. And now I want to make sure that I'm using exact distances so that everything lines up in the end. So I can either hit X and 2. Or I can simply um, middle click the mouse wheel and then hold control. And now I'm snapping in one unit increments. And so I'm just going to quickly go around and make some walls. And sometimes, even, even when I'm snapping, it does something like that where it's actually going down. And so I just want to make sure that I'm middle clicking the mouse wheel to lock in my direction. And now I can just create a face here. All right, so we have a closed off um, sort of basic little structure. And I'm going to create a door by hitting Control R. I'm going to choose a height for the top of the door frame. And then Control Tab to go into face mode and delete this face. Uh, if the player walks into this room, they're instantly going to know this is fake because there is no depth to the door frame. So I'm going to add a solidify modifier and bring up the thickness to about there. Now the nice thing about using the solidify modifier is that we're still only editing single faces. So if I want to add a window here, I'm just going to hit Control R, create some edge loops. And maybe I'll just do one more down here. Face and delete faces. So that gave us a window with a frame. And now if I want to edit this, I just take the single edge here and move that around. And I could even take the whole ring and determine like a specific height for all the windows. So now if I want a second window here, just take that face and delete it. Um, so this is a really quick way to go about level design. I really like it. And it, you, you're not going to get like a, a production ready room out of this because you you would probably want like a better window frame with actual like extruded pieces here and possibly some glass. Um, but usually when you're building a level, you want to be able to just jump into it right away and see how the shapes and sizes work out. Uh, so I recommend at least trying this out and learning this workflow because it's really, really easy and really, really fast. Um, so I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.